Welcome back to the Arizona Daily Mix. We're out here in our parking lot. It is camping season. The rain has cleared up, but this is definitely, John, I'm gonna say camping weather right now, getting get nice out. And a lot of you probably have some of those Sprinter vans at home and going, how can I dress it up? Well, that's where <laughs> our vans come in, yep. John and his team, because we want to make it look rugged. We want to make sure it looks like we're campers and not just driving around the kids to, you know, soccer. So you have been the outside accessories yeah. for these Sprinter vans, which is really cool. Yeah, we kind of try to take the adventure van to the next level. This has become something that's totally disrupted the kind of traditional RV market. They're easy to drive. They're, they're the first vehicle that is an RV that you don't want to be in. And what I mean by that is it's supposed to take you to your adventure so you can hike, bike, kayak. I mean, 10 minutes outside of here in, in, uh, in Phoenix, you can be out in the middle of nowhere. And we help make these vehicles even more capable off-road bigger wheels and tires, yeah. side steps, roof racks, and I probably go too fast for everyone at home, but lighting and rear door carriers. Actually, this, I'll yeah, take you back here. Let's go back here, because this is important here. Uh, the tool kit right here uh, so this as we is, come back. Yeah, this is all stuff that we kind of created. We pioneered this whole idea of putting stuff on the rear doors, and it allows you to carry stuff that you don't want in your van, because they are fairly small inside. Yeah. And then you can see this is kind of the garage area, and then this is kind of cool. People love to see this. So you got these pop-outs on the side, and people often ask what those are for. So what happens is the bed comes down, and those pop-outs allow someone, I think it's up to like 6'2", to sleep comfortably. And you get all the advantage of having gear storage down low, and then you just pop this flat. And I'd ask you to join me, but that might be a different kind of Yeah, that's segment. a different show, but I'm gonna, <laughs> wow, you're pretty tall. I'm gonna get up there in just a minute. But well, let's talk about outside accessories. Yeah, that here, you don't have to do way. a whole package or anything. You can do pieces here and there, right? Absolutely. I mean, we sell all this stuff individually, and for us, it's just exciting because, like I said, this is disrupting this whole industry. It's a new segment. It's um, a huge number of people who have never been in an RV, never been off-roading, coming into the segment. In fact, we have like, for automotive, we have like 30% female purchasers, which is unheard of for automotive. Yeah. It's because they're comfortable driving this size vehicle. It drives like a truck. It drives like a SUV and it does all the things you want for camping. Yeah, and I like that it gets dressed up, and I will say, manly. Because uh, <laughs> sometimes you see them like, oh, that's a pretty little, then it's a camper inside. But look at all this on here is incredible. You know what's coming up. I'm saying there's a certain holiday coming up that if you wanted to purchase some things for him, this is it right here to bring in the Sprinter. Now, let's go inside here. And sure, I'll absolutely. If, if everybody can get in here, because I want to make sure, I mean, listen, I, I don't own one of these. I'm not a seller one, but I want people to go camping yeah, I think the cool part is you got the little fold down table here for people. But the main part you hear from a lot of women is the bathroom situation. Yep. So I don't know if. Uh, yeah, check that out yeah. in there. If, if Ryan can come up in so here really got, quick. And then you come back over here. Wet room. Uh, John, you want to come in? And yeah, so I'll sneak in here. You just, sneak in. It's just a whole crew in a, in a small it van. But, but and I'm going to squash this. you back there. That's okay. So, all right, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> so there's a full shower in here. The whole room can get wet. You've got laundry there, a to cassette toilet that you can empty at home. You don't need to go to, to dump stations. And, you know, that's one of the things that I like to touch on is this is one of the lightest footprint vehicles. When you tent camp and so on, you've got all this trash and you're spreading your, your tent out on the ground and this and that, whereas everything's contained in these. All your fluids, all your trash, all your food, you got fridge, full cooking, it's fantastic. I like it, this is it right here. Okay, how can people find out more about you? Because you are new in the valley, kind of only a year. We are, we came here about a year and a half ago. We have locations all over kind of the western part of the US where owl vans. Um, I always recommend people go to, oh wow, this is now look at this segment this, is getting yeah, go ahead uh, go, I'm just testing it out <laughs> have you ever done a segment from so, on top of a toilet before oh, have I yes I have <laughs> <laughs> hey it's Owl Vans you got to check them out again uh, some great accessories to make your sprinter look a camper and off-roading a beautiful there you go all right we got information on the cw7az.com for more about Owl's Vans come on back because we're going to go traveling to the beach I believe